Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and kind of show you guys some of the new act bosses uh, that'll be coming in. The, specifically this video will be for act five. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump right on in. I want to see if I can hopefully help you guys and maybe prevent some deaths in hardcore. So the boss that we're going to is going to be in the Chamber of Innocence, which is located basically through the Chamber of Innocence. And you would essentially just... Um, you would start right over here, and you can see this is the path that I kind of took. Uh, of course, this is with the new mini-map, so it feels good, man. And I believe his name is Varius, Var Varius, I don't know, Varus, it's fucking something like that. Um, and I want to go ahead and kind of show you guys each one of his mechanics and kind of like how to dodge them and whatnot. Now, of course, I am, of course, over-leveled because I've been playing through this beta for a little bit. But I want to show you guys some of the mechanics, because a lot of these new bosses kind of have like almost one-shot gimmicks. They're not really like one-shots, but um, majority of the time you'll die if you don't understand the mechanics, for example. So this guy in his first phase is quite easy. It's pretty much just autoing. He's got his swipe. Um, nothing hits terribly hard. This character doesn't really have any mitigation. You know, I do have a high effective life pool, but like this, for example, is something very easy to dodge. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower him down just a little bit and see if we can force him into one of his next parts. All right. So, this slam thing right here, you don't want to fucking get hit by because it'll destroy you. That, that, whatever the fuck that thing was as well, will do like a solid 1.5k to you. Um, so his gimmick is he'll spawn a statue. You don't want to get hit by this guy because he'll maim you, which is basically slows you. And he hits quite hard. But the trick with the statues is basically, when he summons them, he will, uh, well I guess after a short amount of time, he'll make them kind of go like invulnerable. And you can't hit these guys either, right? So you pretty much have to deeps the boss. But the reason why these statue guys are cool is one, you can just put like a decoy totem down and it'll force them to go to it. Um, the other thing he does is he will have an ad phase. And I believe this is set off percentage HP, I wanna say. Um, the ad phase isn't too bad. You can pretty much just clear it, no problem. You get flash charges back. There is like a unique mob that comes in, I think halfway through, or is, is it doing it here? Let's see. It might be in the second phase when he does it. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy! Okay, no, he didn't do it here. It might be a second phase. So I'm actually just gonna beam him to second phase, because first phase, there's really nothing scary about him. So the second phase, which is what we're in right now, this is kind of when the fight gets a little bit more intense, um, because he'll be summoning more statues, and he'll be using his, uh, as we like to call it, PJ Boom Boom. So this is one attack, where basically, it aims at where you were standing originally, and then will beam down to hit you. Um, I'm gonna assume... It's fired, or sorry, uh, like part physical. I don't know if he's physical and lightning, physical and fire, or really what he is 100%. I haven't really checked that out. Um, but I mean, they look like fire attacks. Like it looks like a little fireball coming, but it could just be pure fizz. Um, but the more important thing, like I was saying before, is the statues, right? So the statues, it's important to kind of, you kind of want to position them in a spot where you're eas they're easily accessible. You don't really want to get them tugged against the wall over here because it'll kind of fuck you over in a little bit. Uh, which I'll show you here. Let's not hurt him too fast. Okay, so you see this orb he channels? This will shoot out these beams, or these little balls, that will completely fucking annihilate you. You don't have to worry about those ones. And you need to use the statue to line of sight it. You don't have to use the statue to line of sight it, but it's super, super recommended that you were to do it, because if not, you'll take quite an extreme amount of damage, and I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Um, so here's another guy, the prayer guard that came out. That's a little unique guy. Nothing in his ad phase is really too difficult. Uh, a little spoiler, Kataba's ad phase is way more fucking pissed off, which is the next video. Um, this guy is honestly, it's mainly about just understanding what's going on. And don't get hit by the fucking ball phase, because it'll destroy you. His beam, actually, I was just fucking ignited there, so taking fire damage over time. Alright, nice. Um, so he is probably part fire then. His beam is pretty mad, but you can you can pretty much just like Quicksilver and outrun it. So here's the ball if you want to see how much damage it does, right? Like I'm I'm level 76. This is a 43 zone. I have like what 5k effective life. It does quite a bit of damage. You really want to make sure that you run away from it. So this you can see just with simple movement speed boots, you can outrun the beam. Uh, and this is just like what 30% movement speed boots. So if you pop the Quicksilver, you would be totally fine. Um, this thing doesn't really hit that bad. It's not too much of an issue. It's mainly this fucking ball right here. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much about it. Um, you know, don't stand on anything you don't really think you should. 
the fight, like I said, does get a bit more hectic um, when you're kind of like newer because you don't know everything. But it's pretty easy. Just remember, keep your statues positioned properly. Uh, if you're melee, I guess you're fucked. You just don't don't stand still. You don't really want to stand still. And pay attention to his emotes. Well, not his emotes, but like his, his little his little gestures, so you can kind of see what he's gonna go ahead and do. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much about it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do next is I'm gonna show you guys a video clip of me on day one of the beta. So basically, when I fucking don't know anything, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna go ahead and play that here, like shortly once I kill this guy, so you can see kind of what it feels like potentially on your day one. Um, so give me just a second here to kill Mr. Fucking Ad Phase. Let's go, buddy. Any day now. All right. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up right now. So here you go. You know, I'm just kidding. I'll pull it up in like two seconds because I lost it. Where the fuck did it go? Nice fucking skamaz PC. Did I lose it? It's okay. I'll pull up the file again. Feels uh, edited, man. Alright, here you guys go. Hope you boys enjoy. Okay, here's the boss fight. Uh, let me get my entropy boom. This one. Where is he? This little guy. Let's see what you got, buddy. What you got for me, buddy? Terror? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What just what hit the you? Fuck was that? What <laughs> He's looking at me! Oh, that's his angry fucking PJ movement skill. If, okay. you see some, if you see the ground fucking... I don't know what the hell to do. Ads? You got an ad phase? Rip, nice fucking ad phase. This is, uh, this is quite a few ads, dude. <laughs> Would suck if you were a noob and like didn't have melee splash on your your skill or you're using an AOE skill. He's still summoning. Okay, he's we're done summoning. What? <laughs> what happened? Get one shot, noob shit. <laughs> did you stand? Did you stand inside the thing? <laughs> there was a thing. Yeah. Oh, it's phase two, dude. There's phase two. Holy He's got a spear or something. Man. This is. I'm glad I didn't play fucking hardcore. He's charging, dude. I don't know what he's. Looks like he's got a laser beam. He's looking at us. Don't don't ever let him look at you, dude. That's the rule. Holy fucking titties, Jesus what? Christ! Holy I fuck! What was that? Oh God! <laughs> Holy shit! What was that? <laughs> All right, okay, we got that phase here. Let me uh, let me get some some fucking flasks back. What the actual? Fuck? Yo, there's a big boy here. There's a big boy here. That does like no fucking damage. The ads are coming, dude. We're getting swarmed. He's back. Okay, look at him. What's he doing? He's not looking at us. Okay. Oh, he's so ridiculous! Oh. <laughs> Did he fuck? heal? I think he healed. This fight is like fucking. He if he looks at you, game. run. If he looks at you, run. Okay. Yeah. Feel that like decoy. Is he vulnerable? Like oh, it's, it's coming! It's coming! Okay. <laughs> that face. This is PJ Fun Fun, man. This guy's fucking salt. This guy is so salt. What do we do against that fucking fuck you phase? The bullet hell. I want to see what we're supposed to do there. Oh, oh turn it. fucking die. There he goes. Fucking another bullet hell. Okay, he's Going looking up. at the he's totem. Turn really fast. This fat guy's coming for me. He's coming for you, actually. 
He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Shit. Oh, shit. Get me out. Get me out. Oh god. Um. What the fuck? Oh. Okay. That's. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. I need fucking plasma. Okay. What the fuck? Oh you ready? God. Set! Let's get scammed, dude! Jump Let's get scammed! This guy's a fucking asshole! <laughs> Is he doing it? <laughs> hey! No oh problem! God. Deathless! <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pocks. So we got the Katava boss fight next. Let me guys know what you want me to add to these. Maybe I can make them a little more clean. Uh, we'll see what we can do here. But uh, that's pretty much about it. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care.